Oh hey YouTube, what's with the good? My name is Vivid and you knew this was coming, at least if you've been here for a while you knew this was coming. Jaden Animations just released a new video titled I Attempted a Two Player Nuzlocke and every time Jaden releases a new Pokemon video we have to react to it. But before we watch this video I just want to say if you haven't seen Jaden's original video please pause this and go watch it now. It will be the top link in the description down below. I always want to make sure to push my audience or anyone who stumbles upon this video to watch the original creator's video first. So go do that and then come back to this if you want to see it a second time with some bonus commentary. Jaden is the incredibly talented person making this dope content for us. I'm just someone trying to enjoy it and share that reaction with you. So that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. And if you enjoy who I am as a person, please consider subscribing if you're new here. The last few times I reacted to Jaden's Nuzlocke animations, I wasn't doing Nuzlocke, but now I actively am and I post them semi-regularly on YouTube. If you are looking for some fire Nuzlocke content, I will leave a playlist in the description down below that you can go check out. I think that this should give me a better understanding of what's going on and maybe my reaction will be better. I don't know. Let's just jump in and find out. I'm here at the video I attempted a two-player Nuzlocke now and I am stoked because I haven't let myself watch any of this yet and I'm gonna go out on a limb and just assume that two-player Nuzlocke is used for search engine optimization reasons because it's wildly more searchable than Soul Link and bet that they're gonna be doing a Soul Link which I think is the most common variant of a two-player Nuzlocke but I don't know. I guess let's just find out Let's get into this. You know the drill at this point. Pokemon faints, it dies. Catch oh, one Pokemon per It's always so sad. It to set up for emotional trauma. Oh, but this time yeah, we're exactly. doing something a bit different. A, a two-player. Two okay. It's technically yeah. called a Soul Link, but no one knows what that means. So exactly. you and person See, two play. Exactly. I knew it. It just, no one knows what that is except for people that are in the Pokemon community. So why would they put Soul Link in the title? It makes perfect sense. This is more searchable. Also, I love how she just breaks down all the rules in the first two seconds of the video and it's not cumbersome at all. Again, I wonder who her partner's gonna be though. Play the same Pokemon game at the same time, following the same Nuzlocke rules. However, your Pokemon are linked, which means if my starter dies, player two's starter yeah, also dies. That's, so and they are can't rough. do anything that's about brutal. it. Plus, we can only have one primary typing for both of our teams combined. So this if is, I, I catch think, a water type and add it to my team, person the two most can't interesting have a water type so at all links. on theirs. And share I, I think that's the most interesting rule of Soul Links is that you can't share primary types. So you can't just like spam a team full of really good water types or dragon. I mean, it's pretty rare that you find dragon types unless you're randomizing the games. But still, it, it like not being able to share primary types across your team is a pretty big stipulation. It makes these actually hard. So it'll be interesting to see their final teams. Carry on top. All Pokemon are randomized. I can oh, walk they into are grass at any That's point new. and accidentally find God. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe he'll just kill all my animals right then and there. Oh, so with no. all these new rules in place, I needed to find a player too. One okay, who's a who do real we got? Pokemon master. A able real to Pokemon adapt, master. Improvise and strategize all at the drop of a hat. Could have been me. And That's who all else I'm saying. Other I'm than just kidding. Pokemon master himself. Jacob Alpharad. Okay, yeah, yeah. this makes this sense. Time, this makes sense. They make content together. Win ratio. Here's our <laughs> Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver. Alpharad's a funny guy. Soul Link Nuzlocke. We both go downstairs, barely greet our mom, and immediately but beeline the to Professor Elm's lab to see what Pokemon he's got for us because we don't know. All right, They're what random. y'all got? In Randomized case you what encounters. I said, this is the best part of any Nuzlocke. And he pats Jacob on the head and goes. Here, choose from these three. I picked them specially for you. Torterra, okay. Tentacruel, or Ludicolo. All right, stop right now. Pause. What would you take? I'm going to ask you that for both of these. What would you take? Me, I'm a Tentacruel guy through and through. I think Tentacruel is a monster, but all of these are insane. You can't go wrong. Torterra is really good, and it's probably the pick here because it's a starter. Uh, but Tentacruel for me. Tentacruel. All maybe right. not. It's what a water. I maybe not. It's a water type. And water types are exceedingly common. So maybe maybe that's a bad play. I get. Why not Mankey Ariados? <laughs> awesome. Jacob takes Torterra and I take Mankey and we name them uh, Franklin. Mankey's On our way rough. to talk to Mr. Pokemon, just take Jacob Ariados. runs into a Reggie Rock in a random patch of grass, which just oh, flat out it explodes, just explodes on him. Yeah. No one died, luckily, but also, that's oh my god. We get an luck. egg and immediately Professor Elm calls and tells us he's been robbed and bullied. You really couldn't handle being alone for 10 minutes, <laughs> could you? On our way back to help a grown adult, we stumble onto yeah. a shady figure who's Wait, scoffed. hold on. Can we can we touch on that for one second? Elm's a grown man and just gets robbed by a fellow 10-year-old? Because we're all 10 years old, right? And our Pokemon journeys, we're just all 10. And Elm is a grown man and just lets a 10-year-old walk in and bully him. That's a theme in these games. Just people getting bullied by 10-year-olds. Like, grown adults. That's That's not good. Challenges us to a battle with Pokemon right, who's the rival? from Elm, which we immediately win. Scoffs again, then drops his wallet, passport, credit card, driver's <laughs> license, social security, Target gift card on no, the ground no, in front of us. No, no, not the Target gift card. For the card. world to see. 
dude, get your crap together. You can't be doing that when you're a wanted fugitive. Back in the lab, Elma is crying on the floor as the police and our neighbor are trying to comfort him. And the police asks us if we saw anyone suspicious. Yes. yes. <laughs> we saw his info. Now here we get to name our All rival. Jacob and I try to think of someone that we both shared some sort of rivalry with. When we remember okay. a certain professional Pokemon Nuzlocke has been no consistently shot. reacting. In no shot. They're actually naming it after uh, Pichal, Pokemon Challenges. That's who that looks like. Is that is that him? And critiquing our Nuzlocke so far. Some of his comments were... <laughs> more critical than others. No shot, man. And directed that's at one him. of us more than the other. For Mr. sure, that's Policeman. him. Police man. His name is Jan. <laughs> Hi, Jan. <laughs> I'm ninety percent sure that's not how you pronounce his name. It's Jan, right? Like Jan, like. Oh. I, I think it's Jan. I don't know. Maybe it's Jan. I think it's Jan. Let's see if you can destroy us from the inside out. Anyway, our neighbor takes us out to that's some grass great. to show that's us how to That's such a, a good Pokemon, crossover. Runs into Articuno, catches it in a Pokeball also, in the green. Also, I'm sorry. I, I'm pausing a lot here. I won't pause as much later. But this seems like a really full circle moment for him because I, I don't know him personally. I've followed his kind of like uprising on YouTube. And I know that one of his reactions to a Jaden video was sort of the video that like kickstarted his YouTube thing. I think he's been pretty big on Twitch for a while, but a reaction to a Jaden video is what kickstarted his career. And now he's in a Jaden video, which seems like a very full circle moment to think about and probably pretty cool for him. Anyways, I'm pretty sure it's Jan. I'm just going to keep saying that. And turns to us and goes, see, just like that. Just like that. Just catch the Articuno. It's They easy. give us some Pokeballs and we can finally start our journey. We both run around in the grass and our first encounters are Barboach and Houndoom. This okay. would have been awesome pretty solid. for Jacob. If he could catch the dang thing. Since we oh, only had Pokeballs, rip. Houndoom was not getting in the ball no matter rip. what. And we ended up not getting that pair. But you know, That's it's all tough. right. There's plenty more encounters like Hop It Farfetch that Jacob accidentally oh, kills. That, or that pair kind of sucks. Gyarados that pound. Oh, that that's Jacob powerful. accidentally kills. Or Tyro Charizard. No shot. He kills this too. That Jacob accidentally kills. What are you doing? How have you killed your first four encounters? Just don't attack. Dog, just don't, literally do not attack. Just throw a ball. If you've killed the first two encounters, you stop attacking. If you've killed the first three encounters, you reset your file. If you've killed the first four encounters, I I have no words. You, you're you done. You're donezo. Hey, why do That's I get wild. this? That's wild. And Jacob gets all this. It doesn't, none of you and get anything. And why do you kill him, Jacob? But finally, in the ruins of Elf, we managed to catch a new pair. Okay, Sand good. Sand slash camera -upped. Not bad at all. Pretty we good. We tried to name them Michael, pretty good. but both misspell it. So welcome M to Mitchell. the team, Michels. Then Michels. on Route 32, we catch Totodile Beedrill, which is also pretty good. Okay. Mainly for just me. We started combining the I mean, two Pokemon to create their Beedrill's names. Not bad. So we ended up somehow with Bedrodo. We ran into a trainer who had a freaking Palkia on his team. Love the naming scheme. did you know if you Google Palkia type weakness, Google will tell you that he's weak to fairy and salamence <laughs> no other dragons just really? salamence so jacob and i started oh, joking around every time that's we hilarious saw Palkia. oh no if only i had a salamence uh-oh don't have a salamence over here it's just bullying this guy Palky as we ran into but that didn't stop us from bullying every oh. single one so we take on <laughs> exactly Palkia, the first gym just leader who has kyogre bronzar and Metagross Dragonair. No shot. Oh my god. No, After how do you beat Kyogre? We both managed to beat him with no casualties. How? I don't know how that happened, but hey. What do you mean you don't know that how that what? You don't know how that happened? You have to explain how you beat a Kyogre Gem 1. You have to explain that. That's insane. Does it have a water type attack? It's probably a low level. I don't know. That seems Everyone's nuts. All right. Oh, he's gonna take himself out. Oh, oh. oh my god. How about Jeez. some encounters to lighten the mood? Oh, Hello, Shucky. Shuckle Suicune. Oh. That no. Jacob accidentally kills. How? In Azalea Town, Stop. we found Bugsy, who oh luckily wasn't as stacked as Faulkner. And as we step outside, okay. Jan, who Easy. is surprised we haven't been demolished yet, Jan. I'm surprised too, challenges us what to up, a battle, Jan? which we also win. <laughs> we run into Ma Wild Deoxys in the forest, who someone accidentally kills, and oh make our way to Goldenrod, where there's. How? How do you continue doing this? You are playing this game with no regard. No, you're just like full send, no regard, balls to the walls. I'm not pulling any punches ever. If this Pokemon can't live my hit, it doesn't deserve to be on my team. That is bonkers. There's a security guard that'll give us both a Pokemon. He hands me a Porygon too, which I'm ecstatic about. Okay, love turns that. Turns to Jacob. Favorite Pokemon. And gives Porygon him Regigigas. Ugh. 
which we can't use because they're both normal types. Of all the legends you had to get, of course you get the only normal type besides <laughs> actual god. We beat with To be fair, I, I think most people for the encounters that you can't control, like if it's uh, static encounters like the gift EV or a gift egg or something like that, I think most people just say like, you know, YOLO in Soul Links. If they're the same type, you can still use them. Or if they're the same gender, they I don't think they touched on that. Normally they have to like be opposite genders, but that's a weird rule in the first place. So I think it makes sense that they just did away with it. But anyways, normally people, at least in the past Soul Links that I've watched, if the static encounters are the same type, they just say it's fine. We can't control it. Whitney and in the national park find Piplup Flaffy, which we named Plap. I pitched pair. to Jacob that I'm willing to trade the Bedrodos to make room for this new pair, so he essentially That's switches Beedrill with Flaffy. Probably better, which we yeah. Shake yeah. On. Welcome good. to the team, Plaps. Ampharos is Plap way better almost gets than uh, Beedrill. Jaden, where's this? Where's this Jirachi coming from? What is it doing? I'll fix it. I'll fix it. This Jirachi will <laughs> wreck you. Sorry, my bad. We find Dragonair <laughs> Shuppet, which is an actually insane pair we could use yes. right away. Oh. But yeah, I ended up killing that one. What but are y'all doing? Jacob, it is harder than it looks to catch these things. That we is pour water bonkers. on the strange trees on Route 36 that actually turn out to be Cradily Silcoon. We kind of named them nuts. Dilly Doo and could have added them to the Dilly team as Death the Fodder, but name. we ended up forgetting to. Which is, yeah, a pretty silly mistake. Death but fodder. What's the worst that could good. happen? Who needs death fodder in a nuzlocke? Jacob and I make it to Ekritik and walk into the burnt tower. As we are about to go down there, Jan runs up and is like, You're only trying to catch Suicune to make yourselves look stronger than you actually no, are. No, they already yellow like, one. No, we killed him a while yeah. ago. But he still wanted to battle. I just yeet probably it to show out of off existence. The he somehow found. We beat him yet again, go downstairs, scare off the dogs, and go challenge Morty. Jacob didn't have any trouble for the team Morty had for him. But for me, I was having a bit of a harder time because he had a Lugia, okay. which neither me nor my team could even handle. Yeesh. All I could do was bubble beam it with Plap and pray I don't get crit one shot yeah, as Jacob just nuts. sits there watching. I mean, but it so legendary learn sets early are, are normally not very good, right? Like Lugia's move set to level, I, I think this battle happens at like level 20 something. Like it's not very good. I'm assuming Kyogre is the same because you don't get legendary Pokemon early normally. Uh, I think the earliest is like 30, maybe 45. Uh, so yeah, their move sets are probably not good, but wow, how are you blasting through all these legendaries? That's not fun. That is not fun for you. That's terrifying. But it ended up working out. We arrive in Olivine and climb the giant lighthouse, almost falling to our literal death along <laughs> the way. Reach Jasmine at the top, who's like, climb back down and go oh get medicine. Oh my god, I hate the lighthouse. And we were like, we almost died getting here. Surfing <laughs> to Sea Wood, we encountered Obama Snow Pupitar. And I okay. know what you're thinking. Nuts yeah, we bear. did catch them. Obamatar joined the team immediately, Obama and suddenly great. we've got a pretty powerful lineup going on. Yeah. Also, a I random mean, guy in town gifted us a Mewtwo years. and Weeping Bell. Finally, I'm the one with the legend now. Mewtwo's nuts. But we had it's to box so it because we couldn't Why? have two grass types. All of Not, this sudden box shared whatever luck else. combined with our zero death wind streak box got whatever us else. pretty confident. Which naturally means it's time to get kicked in the throat. <laughs> yeah. Specifically by a black belt martial artist. Gym leader Chuck was indescribably tough in the most okay. bullcrap way got? possible. Another for me, legend? Jacob had no trouble at all because he's Jacob. He had a Kingdra, which <laughs> I brought Obamatar out for. Nothing else on my team could really do anything against it. The main drawback okay, of this fair. is Obamatar's snow warning ability, which creates hail, mm -hmm. damaging every Pokemon, including my own, that's not an ice type, which is pretty inconvenient in a Nuzlocke. I even yeah, made a, a teeny fair. tiny comment about it when I first got him. I can, I can, I'm gonna call it, Snow's gonna kill one of my Pokemon. No, Kingdra you can't see things like that. Only other Pokemon, he's only got two. Okay, you've got two. He's Frostlass. Oh. No. The, it's gonna, what is it? Is it Ice Snow Cloak? Snow Cloak? I was about to say Ice Veil. I think that's another ability. Snow Cloak makes it evasive, so it can dodge hits. That's not good. That's really very bad. And also, incredibly unlucky if you don't know has snow cloak yeah snow cloak makes the pokemon 20 percent harder to hit if there's hail you want to yeah. know how many pokemon in gen 4 have this ability five three of <laughs> which being mamoswine you want to know how many pokemon there are in heart gold soul silver 493 now i know these odds sound pretty awful already, oh, wow. but you know what this process does 
She uses ominous wind. No, ominous wind it has gets a the 10% boost. chance to boost every single stat of the user. It gets the boost. She gets the stat boost twice in a row. After a lot You're of losing strategizing, something, right? we both decided the best like, option for us something would be to just send gets Michael as death fodder to heal up Plap because he's the only Man, one that can really do anything Michel. at this point. And what happens? He's a real OG. Please don't get another stat boost. You're, he's good. He's so good. He's no, no, no. shot. Oh my! Frost oh, print one shots Michael as soon as he comes. I wonder out. if that mattered. Our first death. It might have. I don't know. He was so proud for making it out of Jack's gym and then just falls over dead for no reason. I got Pat healed up and basically no. started heal stalling, which sure isn't a noble strategy, but you gotta on. do something. After literally struggling against my own bad luck for what felt like hours, finally, Frostlass goes down. Okay, I mean, the fact finally. that you got through that at all Holy is. She Amazing. She drags me out of the gym and we head to the BC. We decided to <laughs> add a pair we caught back on Route 35, which was Charmeleon Dawn fan named Darfo. Oh. A fantastic. We have not seen this pair yet. This is a really strong pair. Like, Charizard's super solid. Dawn fan gets Earthquake eventually. That's, that's good. I think this is a nuts pair. Fantastic duo. I was admittedly. And I think justifiably still really salty about what we just yeah. went through, but yeah, Jacob convinced would me that we should living. just move on. We got our Darfells leveled up and returned to Olivine to feed Amphi the medicine that we picked <laughs> up so Jasmine would finally do her job. And check this out. Already done. No. <laughs> Again? Oh my god. How? Look at our two screens real quick. <laughs> Azrael. Right. I didn't even notice that. She also had Azrael Lugia. We headed to Mahogany How are you Town, beating catching these? an added Nidoran and a barrel named Barrel to the team. And in the Lake Fair. of Rage, Jacob caught a Kyogre barrel. paired with my Swalot. We never used this pair, but I just wanted to pretty, mention it for pretty reasons. solid pair. We approach the glistening Swalot's shadow these. of the Lake Beast, activate the encounter, and find a shiny. Banerian Dawn fan. Not, you know, the it's, best. It's but fine. hey, free shiny Pokemon. okay. Doesn't hurt to cat. Oop, I killed it. <laughs> That's again my bad. Sorry. Oh Lance no, she just leaves it in the lake. Hi, I'm Lance. Grabs us by the wrist, kicks down the door to this the This is Mahogany where Lance Town just murders someone. Kills one of the guys in there yep. and runs into the rocket yep. hideout where he continues to wipe out any living organism he finds down there. Lance is brutal in this game. He's brutal. Classic Lance. We decided to copy him and beat up all the executives and their power generator. Right before we fly to Goldenrod, we pick up the seventh badge and then continue curb stomping Team Rocket. We were getting okay. a bit too comfy though, and as Jacob no. wasn't paying attention, mainly because he just got a chicken sandwich. <laughs> Obamatar was killed by a golem's earthquake. We need to we need to talk about the chicken sandwich for a minute. I need to know what kind of chicken sandwich it was. If it was just some trash tier chicken sandwich, like if you're talking about like a hot and spicy and dog you lost a pokemon over hot and spicy, that that's not good. If it's a Chick-fil-A sandwich, I guess I can kind of understand I've been really hungry before, and sometimes if you're really hungry, you're probably not playing Pokemon too great, but man, you must have been really into that chicken sandwich. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Yikes. Oh, no. Oh, no. I that didn't realize it was linked really to Obama Snow. Obama Snow is good. I said Obama we Snow. Paying attention. Sorry, I got distracted but by Chicky Sandwich. Have to move on. Especially since we were literally in the middle of a gang fight. We shoved our way to Rocket Executive and Big Boss Archer and give him a bit of a throat chop so he would calm down and stop doing whatever it is he was doing. Go and everyone throat is chopping. Saved. On our way to Blackthorn, we catch Frost slash Corefish, which okay. put me into a vengeful Solid. trauma spiral. It's a good pair. Uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jacob caught himself both a Suicune and an Azelf. We arrived and took on Claire, who led with the two against luck? me, which at this point I shouldn't even be surprised. But all the rest of our team was pretty much a pushover for both of us. How did you beat the Mewtwo? Claire was a bad sport and refused to think we were good trainers, so we talked to the old man behind the gym, and he's like, so do you beat your Pokemon? And we were like, no. no. And he's like, me. awesome. Claire, give him the stupid badge. What? <laughs> so now we can head to that the Elite That really Park. is how that interaction goes. Hey, guys. I think you should go fight a horde of Asian women in Ecruteek. Uh, so we enter oh, the Ecruteek Theater and start fighting oh, yeah. the women, the kimono and the second fight girl for me sends out tough, Andipal. Actually. As I switched to Franklin, it screeched, which I <clears throat> just didn't pay didn't attention, pay attention to. to, Yeah. and Ambipom double no hit shot. killed Franklin. Yeah, to be fair, Ambipom might just kill Primate 
outright. Primeape's defenses are terrible, but after a screech, nah, this thing's dropping to anything. Our Poor Primeape. Just died. Never Dude, had a shot. That was really sad. Never we had a shot. We were about to make it to the Elite Four with them, and bam. Not alive anymore. Ugh. They were with us through everything. Pretty Not much alive. the backbone to our teams. Man. Jan's gonna make so much fun of us when he finds out, <laughs> as we're still mourning the last I think he's of more gonna make fun of you for pronouncing his name wrong. Lord. Do you have any dignity, woman? We're lamenting over here. We try to leave oh, wow. and the girls are all, no, no, go catch the legendary Pokemon. He's already got three. So I yeah. head to Whirl Islands and Jacob scales the bell tower. And what legends do we find? The legendary Zangoose and Loudred. <laughs> I Finally, mean, we have some freedom again, and as soon they'd be as we touch the normals. water in Newbark to head to Victory Road, what pops up from the bottom of the lake but Entei himself? Ooh. And Doduo. Oh my god! Entei's a uh, pretty, pretty good fire boy. Hello, <laughs> Dode. That's Dode. going in the box because fire types. We catch Cascoon Regirock in Victory Road, and heading okay. towards the exit, Jan sprints Cascoon's up from behind good, us, and I iconically Regirock say, is. This is your last chance to kill one of our Pokemon, Jan. Oh, you don't and say what that. Happens? No. Oh my god. Oh, counter. <laughs> no. <laughs> what happened? GG's. Oh. That's not great. Yeah, uh, that's, he I'd one say of our Pokemon. that's not yeah, great. That sucks. That really sucks. Darfell was an incredible pair we've had since yeah, the fifth that, gym, and we that really was a grew good to pair. lean on. We lost quite literally Ente. half our team right before the Elite Four. Sad. Mm. We beat Jan for the last time, enter the Indigo Plateau, and immediately bolt to the PC to see what kind of damage control we can do. After a very right, long time of trying to stitch together oh, you the best Mewtwo? teams possible, we ended up with this. Ampharos and Polion, Bibera and Little Queen, Beautifly Cradley, Dodrio and okay. Tay, and Victory Bell Mewtwo. This is I know, a solid. I know. Mm, wow, James. There's only five. Super balanced. You've got Mewtwo and Entei, and Jacob has a Beautifly. Look, Why is this? This Why is this is the only best five? We could do, I promise. I don't tell have a him, six Jacob, pair anywhere. Him. Anyway, big deep breath. Here we go into the unknown depths of the Elite Four. All right. Will, Coda, and Bruno were all no problem at all. We breezed right okay. past them. Everything was going great. This is fine. Yeah, then. Who? Yeah, he's. Oh! Oh, oh my God. Uh, oh no. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> I win these. On the other hand, <laughs> Karen was. Not as nice. No, I just mean, what if he does any charge? Oh, no. Move? Not the Entei? Uh -oh. Okay, he just did cross chop. He's that was the design. one legend. I mean, she has a Mewtwo, too. But that was the one legend paranoid. you had oh for a god. minute. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <gasps> mm, no. Mm -mm. Oh, no. How did you Guys, not take it so out? we're so sorry we got pack? you killed in the first, like, 15 minutes of having you. Yeah, we ended rough. up getting out of the that battle with no more casualties. But facing Lance with a team of four each is really... Not ideal, yeah. to say the least, but we walked up Lance to him nonetheless. Whether we win or lose here, this is our last battle. He will. He leads with Fiona dig and Lydian, which we were both under. like, ha ha ha, Lance, is this all you've got? No. And then he hits us with the no. Jacob was <laughs> up against his Porygon Z, Rampardos, oh. Licky Licky, oh. Zapdos, and Plusel. And even mm, though it's no. a pretty stacked team, Plusle he was sucks. holding his own and getting through them really well. On my end, I was dealing with a giga impacting Snorlax, which okay. I really had nothing for. I just had to pray for no yeah, crits and as hard. many misses as possible. It goes down eventually, and what does he send out next? Palkia. <laughs> but you don't have a Salamence! Oh, I could really use a Salamence right yeah. about now. You can't even this bully it! Get. We bullied Palkia so much during our journey here. Looking at my team, I don't have anything that can handle Palkia either. Except for Mewtwo. And what happens? He, he gets Spatial Rand crit yeah, one shot turn he one. He gets yeeted. I am in a lot of trouble. I took so much time getting past Snorlax that Jacob was already done with his battle, so all he could Jeez. do was watch this massacre from the sidelines. I sent out If Jelly you win and, and then she loses, you both lose. And just chip away at him with basically nothing. And my god was I lucky, because if Palkia hit one more crit at any point, Dilly do and the run was over. And I was forced to dance on that line for a long time. Yeah. But eventually, Dilly Doo lands the finishing blow. Like I said, Cradilly's so great. The pair that we caught so early on and deemed as death Super fodder dead. was the one saving us. We're so sorry for doubting you, Dilly Doo. Thank you for sticking by us. 
and not dying. But that was only half of Lance's team, might oh, I no. remind you. Plap took out his sand slash, which okay, stunk. But Bastiodon came out, tanked Plap's surf, and killed him metal with metal sound? burst. Oh, I was metal in burst. shock with no. that one. That was our metal second burst is a tough move. Ever since our Franklins died, Jacob it's and I both started seeing the Plaps as our star members. Beryl came out and revenge finished the Bastiodon, and Lance's last Pokemon was big ol' hard hitting tanky freaking Azumarill. Oh, I wow. sent Dilly Doo back out because Beryl would die immediately and started the chipping game again. <laughs> if that wasn't bad enough, Azumarill set up the rain and an aqua ring for itself, which uh -oh. turned this fight from uh to ah, uh, this yeah. awful one on one lasted 10 whole minutes. I slap him, he slaps back much harder, and then heals, <laughs> and then I heal, but eventually. Dilly do wins the stalling battle. Cordelia and is so Azumarill good. Azumarill goes That's, down. I In knew an it. unpredictable turn of I events. I knew it. It was going to be good the whole time. Dilly saved us from utter defeat. What an adventure we just went on. Insane encounters. Insane bullcrap. Yeah, that's, friends, that was death, nuts. Bullying. And the Dilly Doos. Thanks for going on this journey with me, Jacob. I quite literally couldn't have done it without you. And a salute to the buddies we made along the way. Aww. I love at the end how Except she always you. like <laughs> Except you How she always like kind of reminisces on the Pokemon she had Oh that was good I loved that Soul Links are really fun It's like you know it's kind of hard Probably if you're not a content creator To just find a friend who's like oh yeah, yeah Let me set aside part of my life to do this with you But if you have a friend to do one with you I think you should because they're really fun And also it's super interesting That video uh, Was very good I think this is up there. I think the Platinum Nuzlocke is probably still my favorite, but this one is probably now my second. That was really fun. I don't understand at all how she constantly, constantly battled legendaries gym after gym and blew through them. I wish there'd been a little bit more analysis on that. Like, maybe not necessarily a turn by turn, but like, how how did you how did you beat all these? What did you do to get past them? That should have been explained because I feel like some of those battles would have been really interesting. All in all, though, just a fantastic video. I think these are probably my favorite form of Pokemon content because it's such an interesting take on the genre where you animate your entire playthrough and it's very condensed and it's very consumable. And honestly, I think probably a lot of us could learn from this style and do stuff more like this and we'd all be a little bit more successful. But Jaden's, she's got the market cornered. She's doing it right. Really though, the moral of the story is that Jaden absolutely knocked it out of the park with this video. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Also, if there are any little Easter eggs in this video that I missed or didn't pick up on while reacting to it, please leave those in the comment section down below because I love to go back and watch and see what I missed because I feel like there are always cute little little fun Easter eggs in her animations that people don't see the first time through. So I always go watch them a second time. I would love to have a list of things that I should be looking out for. And if you don't think I missed anything, then just let me know what your favorite part was in the comment section down below. Also, if you liked this video, please leave a like on it. It would help out so much. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed me or my commentary, you would probably enjoy my hardcore nuzlocks once again that playlist will be linked in the description down below thank you so much for watching it means the absolute most my name is vivid i'm kind of done here i have to leave okay bye